Hello everyone. Good day to you all. Come on in. Invite your friends. The Lord will bless us today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Again, this is your host, Pastor Agatha Adama of Revival Glory Ministry, where we experience the power of the Holy Spirit with daily encounters. Thank you, Lord. And I believe today, as you come on in, you're going to have an encounter with the Holy Spirit because the presence of the Holy Spirit is made manifest in this place. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory. Great things he has done. Glory to God. Remember to give stars. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Give stars, give stars, and uh, let us know you are here. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Oh, we just declare this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. God is good. He's a stronghold in the day of trouble. He knows those that trust in him. And with an overwhelming flood, it shall run the enemy. Darkness will be under his feet. God is a faithful God. We bless your name. You are king of kings, God of God's Lord of floods. Look at your people, Lord, who look unto you for help. They look unto you for help. And their faces were lightened. They were not ashamed. No one that looked to you is ever ashamed. You are a faithful God. Truly, you care for us. You are the God who cares. We bless you, Lord. We bless you. Bless your people today. Meet everyone at the point of their need. That is my prayer, and that's why I am here. Touch every heart. Give peace to that troubled soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give wisdom to those that need to make decision. Hallelujah. Blessed Holy Spirit, the spirit of counsel and mind, grant them counsel. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. Bless your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. All right. We just go in and as you are coming, you will receive from the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for the sick today and just believe there will be healing and deliverance. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Good day, Evangelist Michael. God bless you, bless you, bless you. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. He's a strong God in the time of trouble. He's a good God. He's merciful. He's kind. He's loving. God is with us always. He told Jacob, he said, I am going to be with you. And I will bring you back to this place. I will not leave you until the promise, your, the purpose for your life is accomplished. That's, he's speaking that to you now. Until all the promises he made to you, the words that has been spoken to you, what you know you are sure God has said to you in the prayer closet that is not happening. I tell you, this God who cares for you, we not stop until it is fulfilled. It is accomplished. His purposes are designed for your life. He will make sure it is accomplished. And Satan has no power to stop it. Of course, remember that through the death and resurrection of our blessed Lord and Savior Jesus, Satan has been disarmed and defeated. So he has no say in your life. He is just manipulating. He is just he 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 is just praying all the games with his demons to bring discouragement, distraction. That's what he's saying. So give him no room. That's why Saint Paul says, "You give the devil no room. Give him no space." The battle has been fought and won. We are standing in the place of victory. Of our Lord Jesus. The blood has been shed. Jesus shed his blood on the cross. You are victorious. You are more than a conqueror. You are overcomers. You are triumphant. Hallelujah. So I want everyone. Who, who is listening. 
to me to be assured that God cares. The devil come to deceive. Jesus said he came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus came to give us abundant life. Receive that abundant life. Receive God's mercy. Jesus is pleading on our behalf, interceding, asking God to show you mercy. Mercy upon my children. Grace, favor, blessing, prosperity released to them in the name of Jesus. Meet all their needs. Jesus is praying for us. The blood of sprinkling that speaks a better thing than the blood of Abel speaking on our behalf. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If God be for you, who can be against you? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that gave up his son, he did not spare his son, but gave him up for us. So how shall he not with him freely give us all things? So whatever be your need, whatever be the situation that you are feeling, where is God? Know that God is near, very near to you, and that He cares. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> God cares for us always, all the time. He is with us. His promise He will never leave us nor forsake us. Jesus said, I will be with you always, even until the end of the age, in our going out and coming in. Hallelujah. He's with us. He's with us, even when we are on our way. In time of difficulty, we may feel. That no one cares. But I want to let you know that God cares. And we keep on emphasizing him. Because many people, when trouble comes, they behave as if, my Father, have mercy. As if God is not there. They are panicking. They are running here. And they know. Be still and know that the Lord is God. If God be for you, who can be against you? God is with you. Is your Father? He morasa paria. He yoroma shaka. Oh Lord, touch your people. Lay your hands upon them today. Oh, give them that assurance that you care for them. Oh, Ramasakaria, let them look up to you, looking up to Jesus, the Author and Finisher of our faith, of your faith. Hallelujah. He that went to the cross for you, what else can he not do for you? Hallelujah. Do not run. Stay still and see the salvation of the Lord. God is walking on your behalf even when you are unaware. Hallelujah. He's clearing the way for you right now. He's making the path plain for you to walk in. The Holy Spirit is by you. I always look at my right hand because he speaks into my my right ear. So I always look here and say, good morning, Holy Spirit. You are here today. Lead me today. Guide me today. Show me the path to go. Oh, he is with us. He's not far away. He's not in heaven. Don't you know? I want to remind you, if you forgot, he's not in heaven. He is here with us after the ascension. After the victorious, triumphant resurrection of our blessed Lord and Savior Jesus. He, when he sat at the right hand of the Father, the Father and the Son sent the Holy Spirit. Oh, I'm hearing. Tell them that I'm with them. So if you have forgotten, I want you to come to the awareness. The Holy Spirit is with you. He's not just with you, sitting there with you. He's there to lead you, to guide you, to counsel you, to instruct you. Day by day, not once in a month. Today, what is your need? What, what, what is going on? Ask the Holy Spirit. Hasha, say, help me, Holy Spirit. It's one of the Trinity. Hallelujah. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's as powerful. It's as mighty. It's as knowledgeable. That He's with us. What a great God we serve. That shows that God cares. Sending the Holy Spirit <laughs> to be with us, to lead, to guide, to instruct us, to teach us, to grant us wisdom, to strengthen us both day and night, to fight for us. That means God cares. So now the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are fighting for you. They care for you. Then the angels are watching over you night and day. While you sleep, they are watching. And when those demons, those Satan's messengers try to come and shoot arrows and release sickness and diseases, they stop them. No. Touch no my anointed. Do my prophet no harm. This is God's child. No. As, as a matter of fact, when they see those angels, they flip because they can't withstand them. They can't withstand them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. The angels 
are watching over you. Have you forgotten Psalm 91? Verse 1 to 10, read it to 11. He will give in verse 11, he will give his angels charge over you. So, when times you are afraid, you feel alone, remember, angels are there. God has sent to watch over you. Hallelujah. Oh, sweet Carmen, good to know you are here. Oh, God bless you. God bless you, beautiful Carmen. Thank you, Lord. So, know for fact that God is with you, the angels are watching over you, watching over your children. Hi, Gianna. Watching over your children, watching over everything that is yours because God cares for you and all that is for you. Be it your niece, your nephews, your children, your grandchildren, your relatives, your father, your mother, everything that concerns you. Did he not say, I will perfect all that concerns you? Psalm 136. So he cares. The one that gave, says that really cares. It's because he cares. That's why he say we take care of all that concerns you. You will make sure it's in order. Hallelujah. And I said yesterday, there is nothing, nothing too small for God's love to handle and nothing too big for his power. Hallelujah. Even the mountains will be made low. If the mountains has to crumble at the word of God for you to cross over, he will do it. If he has to create a way through the mountain for you to cross over, he will do it. Hallelujah. If he has to dry the red sea for you to go through, he will do it. And Jesus, the commander of the heavenly army, the Lord of Sabbath, the one that fights our battles for us, the commander of the army, he goes ahead of us. He, 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 he opens the gate. He's the one. Hallelujah. Who makes the way for us where there seems to be no way? So right Even right now, God is making ways for you. He, in places and things you don't even think of. He's making way for you. And daily we just go through life easily like that. You think it's just like that. No, the devil don't want us. The devil hates us, but God loves us. God loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son. He clears the way for us to go through. When life just start going easy, dance, clap your hands, sing, praise the Lord, hallelujah, glory to God, glory. You got to praise God because he is working and fighting for you without your knowing. I'm telling you, the devil don't even want us to wake up or to breathe. You know, many people wake up in the morning with headache, with sickness they didn't go to bed with attacks of darkness but thanks be to god who gives us the victory through our lord jesus christ in all these things we may we be made more than conqueror through him that love us hallelujah hallelujah for the weapons of our warfare are not cannon but mighty through god to be pulling down struggles thank you father in his name struggles come down hallelujah Bodies are lifted, yokes are broken through the anointing of the Holy Spirit that lives within us. And God, since Jesus gave his life for us and shed his blood, God is pleased. He satisfied God. And so God's path is to enter into that relationship. We now enter into a relationship with God. We now children of God. So he cares for you. As if that's not enough, God is now living within us. Because the sacrifice is accepted, is completed. No other sacrifice, the blood has been shed. So God, to fulfill his part of that covenant, his life. Oh, Allah, thank you, Father. Thank you. Let's give him praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you for making us your children, for, for dwelling within us. Thank you for your care over us. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy God. Thank you, mighty God. Amen. The creator of the whole universe is living within us through the Holy Spirit. By the Spirit, he's living within us. That is part of the covenant. We are now children of the covenant. And that covenant made by the blood of Jesus cannot be broken. So why do you think that you are alone? No, no one cares for you. Why do you think that you will not make it to tomorrow? If God be for you, who can be against you? You will make it, not just tomorrow. You, you, you will. Ha, ha, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> you, you will forbid it above your days. You know, here, I 
was the numbers of a tree, so shall be the numbers of my people, and my ele shall long enjoy the works of their hands. So just open your hands, say, my hands are blessed. And all the labor, I have labor with my hands, I will enjoy it. My children will enjoy it. My life cannot be called short. I am not going to die premature death. And no one in my family is going to die premature death. None of my children, my cousin, my relatives, my nieces, my nephew, I am standing for them because I know Christ, because I am redeemed. I am saved through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. I repented of my sins, I accepted Christ into my heart. I am a child of God. I'm a member of the family of God. Hallelujah. I've been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God, dear son. Hallelujah. I have Jesus gave me power and authority to cast out devils and to cure sickness and diseases. I am standing for my family. I am standing. You shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. And uh, declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You will sing of his goodness. His goodness and mercy is running after you. So you stand in a position to declare health, healing, prosperity to, to your family, to your immediate family, extended family, because you are the shining light, because you have the power, the power of the resurrection of Christ is within you, the Holy Ghost power. Don't, don't ever think of yourself, Lero. You have the power to declare and what you say. God will enact it. God will do it because you are in covenant relationship with God through the blood of Jesus. That is so powerful because God incarnated himself. God incarnates. He came to die for us. That's a mystery. So you are special because you are so special. You are the king's kid. You are honorable. You are a, a, a royal priesthood. We believers, we are a holy priesthood, a holy, a holy nation, a peculiar people. We are royalty. Hallelujah. We are blessed of God, the maker of heaven and earth. So God cares for you. God cares for you. So, no. Hallelujah. Even at that time when you feel pain, his comforting presence is with you. Say, blessed be God who comfort us in all our affliction, in all our trouble. So that with that comfort, we will be able to comfort others. Yes, yeah, so even though these trials we pass through, you may be passing through right now, is to build up your faith, to strengthen you so that you can climb up higher. It's not to demote you, it's to promote you. For every trial we pass through, we are, we are promoted in the realm of the spirit. We walk upon the high places we walk in the higher realm over demons over principalities over, over spirit of darkness spiritual wickedness in high places and we can be creating they flee they can't come near us they can't come near our children surely they will try the bible didn't tell us they will not try it said they will try but they will not succeed we have the authority to stop them so don't 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 shut your mouth they say a close a closed mouth <laughs> I heard somebody said, if you close your mouth, you close your blessing. Also, in battle, you don't keep quiet. You don't keep quiet. You speak. We speak the word of God with power. We speak the word of God. When that loneliness comes, speak. I'm not alone. Jesus is with me. I am not alone. Jesus is with me. Jesus says he will be with me always, even until the end of the world. Yes. Speak it. You, right now, do you feel if you were speaking in, you, you just feel deliverance. Deliverance. You use your mouth to set yourself free. Hallelujah. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So look to God whose promises are yea and amen. He made all these promises and his words are eternal. They are everlasting. Jesus said, heaven and earth shall pass away. Not a jot of this word shall fail. It's unfailing. I heard somebody singing this morning. It can do nothing else but fail. That means God never fails. Woo! Hallelujah! We never leave you until the purpose I have for you is fulfilled. God wrote things down before you were ever conceived in your mother's womb. He told Jeremiah before you were conceived. Already made you a prophet. I knew you. So everything God has written down concerning you, I decree and declare it shall be fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. Nothing shall come short of it. As many of you that are struggling 
that the enemy has been pestering with your destiny. Today, I declare restoration. And this God is a God of restoration. Restoration, everything the enemy has stolen from you, I call it back. I call it back in the name of Jesus. I call it back. Receive, receive, receive everything he has stolen in the name of Jesus Christ. It's never too late. Whatever thing he has stolen, whether it be wet, whether it be riches, whether it be schooling, whatever thing he has stolen, whether it be head, receive your head back. Be made whole. Jesus Christ took your sicknesses, disease, he took your pain, your sorrow on his body on the cross with his stripes. I declare you here. Even right now, we just go ahead and pray and just pray for the sick. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, with his stripes, you are healed. With his stripes, declare it to yourself. With Jesus' stripes, I am healed. Don't take any, any sickness. Don't accept any sickness because Jesus took it from you. Go back to the beginning. God says in Exodus, I will put none of these diseases that I put on the Egyptians. I am the Lord that healed thee. All the sicknesses of the Egyptians, they are here. So it's not going to touch you. God said they will not touch you. Say, I will bless your bread and water and I will remove sicknesses from your midst. So don't accept sickness. Fight it with the scriptures. It's not by power nor by mind, but by my spirit. Fight it with the word of God. Fight it. Jesus took my sins, my sins, my sickness, and my diseases. So right now, I just, I just want to pray for those who are sick. I just, I just feel like stopping there and pray. I feel that anointing to pray. So in the name, Karoshatara in the name of Jesus, with his stripes, I declare you are whole. Whether it be diabetes, you are healed. Whether it's high blood pressure, hypertension, you are whole. Whole in the name of Jesus, I declare no man in your body in the name of Jesus. Survivors, condolences, be healed. That neck just come to normal as God created you in the name of Jesus Christ. Or I can see Rabbi Koshori, Alomba's condolences in the name of Jesus. Whatever name they call you, Alomba Shoro Korea, let that pain go right now. Let that pain go right now in the name of Jesus. Now, now receive your healing. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Be healed in Jesus' name. That lower back pain. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Every arrow the enemy shot at you, I, I pull it out back to the sender, back to hell, back to their coven, back to the, back to the, 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 the devil's domain in the name of Jesus. You don't belong there. And everything that is sickness is of the devil. So it's off your body in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Whatever spell has been cast on you in the name of Jesus, back to sender. Whatever cause has been put on you, return back to sender. It is treating. Hallelujah. 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 No spell can walk on Jacob. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. So no spell can walk on you. Go in Jesus' name. He just turned back to the enemy. Any cause that anyone cause you, whether it's from afar or from neighbors or even from parents who shouldn't be, we nullify it in Jesus' name. The effect of it is made null and void in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I command every sickness in your body to be rooted up, to dry up from the root in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. And those who are waiting for the fruit of the womb, it is written, there shall be no barrenness in our midst. You will not cast forth your, your young before the time. Hallelujah. Whatever is battling with your uterus, with the fallopian tube, decree reversal now in Jesus' name. By this time next year, you will carry your baby. Be fruitful and multiply is the word of God. And I declare as God my peace, be fruitful and multiply in Jesus' name. Do not cry, no more sorrow. Receive your baby in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, Ramashata, Koramashanta, Ramahai. I Koromoshira, we remember those babies in incubators in the name of Jesus. We declare healing to you. Every organ in your body that is that is not non that is that that is not oh that the enemy has tampered with, not functioning as it should be. 
Kalashorobakaria, we declare hundred percent wholeness in Jesus' name. We release the blood of Jesus, the blood of sprinkling that speak better things than the blood of Abel, that speak mercy, that speak healing, that speak deliverance upon you now. Be made whole in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I just felt like just Pray when I feel that anointing. Thank you, Father. Koroma Sharia. And those who are troubled in her, the Lord said, Receive my peace. Peace I live with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the word give, give I to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Receive the peace of God. The peace of God that passes all understanding, that keep your hearts and mind in Christ. Oh, receive that peace. Peace is of God. Never let it go. It's a gift. It's a gift. I cancel our distractions. I cancel our worries in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kora Mashora Bakaria Roboshiro Masaria. Why will you worry? The Lord said you don't have to worry. You Ramashora Karia, cast your worries on me. First Peter 5 7 for I care for you. Hallelujah. Psalm 55, 20, it says, Cast thy body upon the Lord. He shall sustain thee, shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Is it financial need? God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Receive the blessing of the Lord. The blessing of God makes rich, he has no sorrow with it. Wherever the enemy is stealing from your family, from your family business, from your home, we block that avenue in the name of Jesus. All the labor you have labored, we declare fruitfulness. God said, you will bless the works of your hands. The works of your hands are blessed. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Receive the blessing of the Lord. God pronounced blessings upon his people. You are blessed of God who made the heaven and the earth. In your going out and coming in, you are blessed. Hallelujah. You are blessed in the morning. You are blessed at noon. You are blessed at night. The Lord said that he, he will fill your floor with, with flour, with corn, with wine. Even your, your presses will burst out. I saw that this morning. I declare it over you. Your presses, that means whatever you are doing, we, we, we overflow with blessings, overflowing blessings. That's it. Hala koroboshina. Hala bashoria. Receive it. Overflowing blessings. Yes. You will have more than enough and to spare. That's the word of the Lord to you. You have more than enough and to spare. Many of you want to give, but you don't have. You have a heart of giving, but you feel I don't have to give. Today, the Lord is saying, every yoke of of, of darkness, of the power of the enemy that has held back your blessing is broken off you today in the name of Jesus by the power and the blood of Jesus. By the power of the resurrection, you are set free from lack. In the name of Jesus, receive the blessing of the Lord. You will prosper in whatever you are doing. Your husband will prosper. Your wife will prosper in their job. The family will prosper in their business. Hallelujah. All around you will prosper. And then God will bring blessings to your bosom. I just heard that. God will cause men to bring. Oh, Mala, receive, receive. Hala ko shekiria. Hala bo shaka. Mi sakaro bahaya. He koro. God will cause men to bring blessings to your bosom. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. It's coming. It's coming. He will open the, the, the windows of heaven and cause, and cause blessings to fill your home beyond what you can contain just as it did to the Shunammite woman to the widow of Zarephath God is still doing the cruise of oil shall not fail neither shall the barren of me seals until the Lord send another rain the rain I declare abundance of rain falling upon your life upon your home right now oh you will never lack from this day forward you will come and testify because I feel the anointing over this prayer. This is a release by the, from, by the power of God. You will never lack. You will never lack from this very moment forward. You will have more than enough. Everything you need, you have You have finances to use and to, and to spare in the name of Jesus. You have more than enough. You have more than enough. Money is not an issue. Money will no longer, I'm hearing that money, money will no longer be your problem. Gold and silver belong to God. I release that gold, abundance of gold to you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I hear, go by gold, go by gold. I don't know what all that means. I don't know what, if you have an accountant or somebody that manages your money, ask him about that. Go buy gold, just go buy gold. If you have a little money, go buy gold and save it. Go buy gold, go buy gold, invest, invest, invest. In the name of God, don't just sit back. Don't just sit back. Invest. You say, oh, I don't have much. No, invest. Just, just invest. God is going to bless it. He's going to multiply it in Jesus' name. Amen. You have more than enough. Oh, Let's pray in tongues. A sister wrote me today say, I have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to come back to you and I'm going to pray for you with you one on one. But right now, can we just pray in the Spirit? You know, we just flow here as the Spirit lives. We just flow here. The message is God cares for you. You know, God cares for you. <laughs> so I'm going to give you scriptures. And if we cannot complete it, I'm going to write the scriptures. Um, I'm going to type it on the Facebook and YouTube. So, but let us just pray in the spirit. Lay your hands upon your people. Give them the anointing and power to pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Oh, for those who are weeping right now, they don't know what to do. Halaba, receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Hallelujah. I was praying for a lady the other day. The words were coming out. He said, it looks it look, uh, 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 like baby baby was. I said, yeah, that's that's how it will be. Speak, just speak. Whatever thing is coming out, just speak it out. Receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Jesus himself told the disciples, his followers, they remain there in the upper room in Jerusalem until you be as you with power from on high. Hallelujah. Oh, Shokotoria, and on that day of Pentecost. Hallelujah. There was like a mighty rushing wind. The power of God came upon them in, in form of tongues of fire. Receive power upon you now. Tongues of fire. Those who are listening and yet to listen on my listen and receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Tongues of fire upon you. Hallelujah. To win, to conquer, to overcome. In the name of Jesus, carry on my Pray this way when you don't know what to do instead of running here and there picking up phone up remember i'm not asking you not to pick up for or call anybody for prayer i'm not saying that but first of all oh ramasha just break out in tongues you don't struggle to pray because the holy spirit is the one praying through you you only open your mouth isn't that wonderful you don't use your strength you just make yourself available so so Lord, I'm available. I'm available. That is what God, oh God is so good. He has given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. Everything. Just make yourself available. Pray, 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 pray. If you are not receiving the presence of the Holy Spirit, if you are not filled with the Holy Spirit, you just receive. Jesus said it. Uh, the, the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, He will come. The Holy Spirit, He is going to... Even from the beginning, John said that he that will baptize you with Holy Ghost and fire is coming. Hora Mashura and Jesus told them the way they were really baptized with Holy Ghost and fire. Receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So those of you already feel, let us just pray for a moment. And if you don't have the prayer language yet, you don't pray in the in tongues, pray in the known language. Don't 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 keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. I I just feel the anointing to pray right now. So all that thing you are worrying about, you know what will happen? You just superimpose it. You go above it. You go above it by the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit. By the time you finish praying, you can't see the problem again. You are worried about. I am telling you, this is true. Hirolaba <laughs> 
Yoroba Shaka, Mira Malaba Lobo Shotoroba Sakari Araba Lobonomana Kase Korolashi, Iroba Sanda, Imorobo Si Yaraba Tondoroba Takaya Robo Shana, Halobo Korea, receive, receive the anointing of the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive ye the Holy Spirit. And he breathed on them, say, Receive ye the Holy Spirit. The Lord is breathing on you now. Receive ye the Holy Spirit. Be filled to overflowing. Pray in tongues daily. Pray in tongues at least an hour daily. You say, oh, I can't do that. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You only need to set the time. Early in the morning or in the evening, after you've put the children to bed to, to, for the young mothers, and um, for us, empty nesters, you have, you have that time. You know, just set time for yourself. Just set time for yourself. An hour. An hour. Your life will never be the same again. Your life is going to change. All these pestering demons that come to trouble, bring sickness and disease, they will be far from you. They can't stand the tongue. It's like fire. Fire to consume them. Fire coming out from the ground to consume those demons. Like what happened in Ezekiel. God fire to come up from the ground, consume those demons it will consume them they will take to flight thank you jesus hallelujah bless your people bless they are going out and they are coming in glory be to god the father son and the holy spirit as it was from the beginning now and ever shall be what we thought it. i'm hearing god say tell my children tell my people is there anything to work for me just as he told to jeremiah 32 he said i am the lord the god of oh glory the god of all flesh is there anything too hard for me Nothing too hard for God. Whatever you are thinking right now, I don't know how I will do this. I don't know how I will go through this. I don't know how this problem will. God is saying to tell you, there is nothing too hard for him. Commit thy way unto the Lord and thy thought shall be established. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Your thought will be established. Give him, give him your problem. Give him your, tell it to him. He will establish your heart. <laughs> you will receive the truth. Where your heart agree with your spirit the doors open up it break up on myself <laughs> oh my god is awesome god is awesome we are children of the living god daughters of zion sons and daughters oh ramakoria of the living god just trust god pray in tongues pray in the spirit spend time with god you will walk upon your high places jesus died to set us free to set us free. No wonder the scripture says, If the Son of Man shall set you free, you shall be free indeed. I declare complete freedom in your body, soul, and spirit. First John 1 He said, I we told John 1, I wish above all things that you may have prosper and be in head, even as a soul prosper. That is prosperity in your spirit, soul, and body. I release it to you. It's yours by the power of the resurrection of Christ wholeness your mind is alert your mind is so that you are 85 that you are mighty don't mean that you, you you don't know where you are you know where you are you know where you are you have the mind of christ you know where you are and some people are sitting they are saying i am old you are not old anything you are just beginning your life cash your higher walk jump live praise the lord wake up dancing and rejoicing I was telling one sister, oh yeah, different kinds of prayer. The Lord has been asking me to sh teach. And they say, yes, uh, I, pr I praise God. In the morning when I wake up, I just start praising God. And I know I see a sister here who is a dancer. You've got to dance. Dance, just start praising God. Whichever one the Spirit leads you to do at the moment, do it. Thank you, Father. God bless you all for being here. Invite your friends. Tell them about this, about it, about it, Revival Glory Ministry. God is here with us. He's going to do greater things. Healing, deliverance, healing, deliverance. Today, I just feel like praying for those who, who are afraid of death, that the spirit of death is coming against with cancer. Once they mention cancer, call Shatarama, they are frightened. You don't have to be afraid if you are a child of God. Jesus Christ conquered death and the grave. He took your sickness and diseases on his body. Hallelujah. With his stripes, you are healed. Whatever type of cancer, whatever stage is in the name of Jesus, let it dry to the root. By the power of, the, of, of, of Jesus, the, by the power of the resurrected Christ, the power, the power of the cross, the blood 
of the cross, the blood he shed, the blood filled your arteries, your veins, your organs, any type of organs that that demon is trying to eat up. Karamo Shura, he has no power over you. I bind those demons and I cast them out right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever type of cancer, cervical cancer, brain tumor, wherever is affecting your body, kidney, wherever, I declare wholeness for you. In the name of Jesus, be healed. And let that cancer die from the root. Let it dry up by the power in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus in all part of your being. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every organ in your body be made whole. Be made whole now in the name of of Jesus, do not fear. I just had the spirit say, Tell that woman, tell that man, do not fear, be not afraid. I am with you. You will not die, you will live and declare the goodness of God in the land of the living. Oh, I feel the anointing. Receive the word, receive it, believe, believe. I know when people get sick, faith is going down because of all the negative things they are hearing from people, from the news, from the I oh shakara mahaya. I clean it away. All those voices, all those negative words, or uh, the ones that have given you few uh, few days to die. He has no, he has no power to detain the date of your death. God has it in record, and it's not now. You will not die. You will not die. You will live. Hallelujah! Everyone sick of cancer, I declare you whole in Jesus' name. Come and testify. Come back next week. We'll be here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, same time, two thirty p.m. Kalasho Korobashara. Come back. Testify. Testify. You know. This sign shall follow them that believe. When we declare the gospel, when we speak the gospel, signs, signs, wonders follow. Healing. The dead brought back to life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All manner of sickness and disease is healed. Hallelujah. The blind see. The, the, the deaf hear. The dumb speak. The lame walk in the name of Jesus. Autis, uh, autism. Children who suffer from autism, they are healed right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yeah, anyone with eye trouble, cataracts, floats, blurry, vision, problem, I just declare it cleared off now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Receive your healing. The blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood of your eyes. In Jesus' name. God bless you in my prayer. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit abide with you now forever. Must stay in this sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. You are driving, you are woman, you are cooking, you are cleaning. Stay in the communion. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Stay in the sweet communion, sweet fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah, stay, stay in the name of Jesus. Oh, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Lord. Let it flow. Let it, let it, let the power of God flow through you. The power of the Holy Spirit flow in your being. Hallelujah. There'll be no room for sickness and diseases. Be made whole in Jesus' name. God bless you. See you again next morning. And we are here. We will declare the mind of God. We will declare the words of the Holy Spirit. We will declare the living word of Christ. He is the word of life. Thank you, Father. We love you, Lord. Bless your people with peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye for now. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I love you.